guys and welcome to another Chatter Tuesday. Two things. One, the window's open because it's a really nice breeze. Sorry for the rain sound. Two, yes, these are eyeballs on my shirt. Yes, these are pumpkins on my ears. And look, they glow. That is because this week it is Halloween. Personally, my favourite holiday of the year. And we don't celebrate it nearly enough in Australia. The extent of it is sometimes a trick or treater around the ages of 16 or 17 looking for some free chocolates or a semi okay party which is just an excuse to dress up in really short skirts and to drink a lot. No decorations at all. So I have made it my personal mission to show my friends how to celebrate Halloween properly and there are a few things that you need to do to make sure you do it properly. First thing. You gotta know the history of Halloween. No, it is not an American holiday. It is in fact Celtic. Celtic culture believed that on All Hallows Eve, which is October 31st if you didn't know that, the world of the dead was closest to the world of the living on that night and that spirits could come up for the night and steal children away and bring them back with them. This is also how dressing up started. Children would be dressed up as ghouls or goblins so that if spirits came and wanted to take children, they would just think they were part of them and leave them alone. Okay, so now that you know a brief history of how Halloween started, we can get to decorating! Because let's face it, you can't have a normal house for Halloween. You need to go all out. Black. Skulls. Bones. Bats. The works. I like Halloween, okay? Now that your house is all spookified and look like it hasn't been refurbished in the last 18 years, it's time for spooky food. And no, I don't just mean normal lollies wrapped up in creepy packaging. Doesn't count. Use your imagination and come up with real creepy foods. For savory ideas, you could go with mummy pizzas, warlock fingers, these are just like chicken fries with almond nails. You could go with severed fingers, which is frankfurters and onion nails. You could even go as far as doing eyeball mash. D don't add real eyeballs, just to add like fake ones. For dessert, which let's face it is everybody's favorite part of Halloween, you could try doing stuff like graveyard custard, eyeball cake pops, spider cookies, and also creepy lollipops help as well. What? I like Halloween, okay? Once you've come up with all the food items, it's time for the best part of Halloween. Costumes! Woo! Possibilities for costumes are endless. Literally, if you can think it, you can wear it. Some ideas I have are ghost, goblin, witch, fairy, you can even go as a type of bug. Let's not forget, Halloween doesn't mean scary costumes, you can dress up as anything you like. I'll leave a link in the description below for some funny costume ideas that would work really well for Halloween. Oh, what will I be dressing up as for Halloween this year? Well, I'm going to be dressing up as a really creepy witch. What? I really, really, really like Halloween, okay? That is it for my Halloween video. I'm taking the nose off because it's kind of annoying right now. The silver line to this is now you know how to host a spectacular Halloween party. I hope you all have a spooky time. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every Tuesday. I hope you have a spooky day. Bye! Ah, uh, pumpkins on my ears. And look, look! Technical difficulties. This one glows. But not least. Okay, so now that. Mm.